run the fastest time this year. He holds every record in the book as well, but 1986, by his standards, a modest time. Surely he can't make the same mistake again. In Berlin, which everybody marveled at, when he set the current world record of 19.19, he ran the first 100 metres around a bend in 9.92. That was unheard of, and he brought it home in 9.27. Walter Dix, the man that you just saw from the United States, he won a bronze medal behind Usain Bolt in China, in Beijing. And everybody, including his fellow athletes, must have been shocked at just how much time he took off the world record. There is the lineup for the men's 200 meter final. Cirillo of Trinidad, De Barros of Brazil, Bolt, Jamaica, Dix, United States, Ashmead, Jamaica, Lemaitre of France, Edward, Panama, and Saidi and Dure of Norway in lane eight. And the man out in lane number six is the young, precocious Christophe Lemaitre. At the European Championships last year in Barcelona, he almost did a bolt, didn't break any records, but he became triple European champion. So Rondel Cirillo, US collegiate champion in 2010, that's the biggest title he's ever won, but he's in this World Championship final, his very first final at this level. So, too, in a final for the very first time, Bruno de Barros of Brazil. His national relay team finished fourth in the Olympic Games, so they know what it's like to run against Usain Bolt when he sets world records. Listen to the cheer for this man. There's only one Usain Bolt. He's unique in so many different ways. 25 years old, holds every sprint record there is. Somewhat shorter and stockier, Walter Dix, the seventh fast fastest man in history at 19.69, but this year he's yet to break 20 seconds. One of the youngest top-class Jamaican sprinters, Nickel Ashmead, Trains with Tyson Gay in the USA. Silver medals in World Youth and Junior Championships, but he's never won a medal at this standard before. Then this amazing young Frenchman, totally motionless and expressionless, Christophe Lemaitre, European 100, 200, and 4 by 100 meter relay champion for France. Yet to break 20 seconds, but everybody thinks he can. Alonso Edward broke through two years ago in Berlin to win the silver medal behind Bolt. He missed most of 2010 through injury, but he's back, and everybody's been impressed with the way he's run here. Jaisuma Seidendure, the Norwegian record holder, his first global final. Formerly of Gambia, now he's a big Norwegian star. Finished fifth earlier on this week in the semi-final of the 100 meters. But is this final all about Usain Bolt, or will somebody else challenge him? By his own admittance, he's not 100% fit. But when your name is Usain Bolt, you have a certain amount of invincibility about you. This could be a brilliant final. Lemaitre surely destined for stardom in the future. Dix, he's been there before, but he's never won the big one. Can he do it this time? The men's 200 meter final. Bolt didn't get the best start. Walter Dix is going well and so is Ashmead. And Christophe Lemaitre is going well, and Alonso Edward, the silver medalist, is out. But look at Usain Bolt run that turn. He's streaking away. He's really turning it on in this final. Dix in second place, Lemaitre third. But there's only one Usain Bolt. And 19.42, one of the fastest times in history again. 
Another gold medal for the brilliant Jamaican. The fourth fastest time ever. Now, if he can do that when he's not 100% fit, what is he going to do when he is fit? Absolutely fantastic, isn't he? He's so good for our sport, so relaxed. Really is a showman, but he's got a prodigious talent. And that was displayed yet again by the fourth fastest time in history. He can pull it out whenever he wants to when it comes to major championships. And that really, the fastest time in the world this year. And Lamette, just behind him, broke 20 seconds for the first time. A national record, 19.80 for the Frenchman. What a great run from him. Water Dix also running a season's best, 19.70. But they were trailing in the wake. <laughs> there he is, under 20, that's what he means. National record for France and the fastest ever run by European at low altitude. Only Manea up at high altitude has run quicker than that. Tremendous run by Lemaitre, but what a run by Bolt. Only the two, only three world records are the times quicker than him. His own two and Michael Johnson's in Atlanta. Well, we know that the great Michael Johnson is in the stadium. And I'll bet that Michael will be saying very kind words about Usain Bolt at the moment. He is just remarkable. You know, so many superlatives have been said about him over the last few years. You just run out and you've just got to marvel at the spectacle of a man running so, so quickly. He really wanted to establish himself as a legend, I think, and some people regard that as the reason he got off a little bit too... Uh, Promptly in the 100 metres, to put it mildly. But this was very, very special. Any pretense that he's uh, anything reduced from the best form, it's only marginal. Have you ever heard a response from a crowd such as this to Usain Bolt? <laughs> he's playing with the cameras, look. They're chasing him <laughs> backwards and forwards. He's, he's leading him a merry dance. And, uh, that's the sort of guy that he is. And uh, there was... People saying that he should change his attitude after that uh, disqualification, but no, I don't think so. Let's have a look again. He's in lane three. He's running hard. Water Dix is almost being caught now with uh, 70 metres. Stretching it out. Lemaitre is running well, though. He's trying hard to hold that lane. But from here on in, there was no stopping the man. Water Dix is left in his wake. Lemaitre is coming hard to break 20 seconds. And there's the gap, three or four metres. Well, they just cannot catch this man, even if he's not at 100%. That is the fourth fastest time ever, perhaps not even on the fastest track, and he's looking up as he's doing it. Conditions here are not good, it's not that warm. Slight wind, gritting his teeth and working hard. He wanted a good time, he wanted to prove a point, and he did just that. Well, I think we've actually had some of the best conditions for sprinting that we've had all week. There was a slight following wind point eight of a meter per second and Lemaitre has taken a huge chunk off his lifetime best to record 19.8 aside Nudri in fourth broke 20 seconds and couldn't get amongst the medals that is a great caption Usain Bolt champion once again 19.4 just a reminder the fourth fastest time in history Walter Dix 19.7 Christophe Lemaitre 19.8 Wow. The Metro's 19.8 uh, ties that of Atto Bolden at the Olympics in 1996 as the fastest ever third place time. Well, in fact, I think, uh, Peter, those are the fastest three times in the world this year. Oh, yes. Uh, we've uh, perhaps been seeing the world list uh, a little bit short of what we'd expected before, just two men under 20 seconds. We came here with Bolt 1986 and Ashmead 1995. That's been changed. Well, in the end, there was only one star, but there was a cracking supporting cast, wasn't there? Fancy running 1995, Steve, and only coming fourth. Superb. Well, we expected it. They left it to the last, didn't they, really? Alonso Edwards there of Panama going out round the bend, but uh, he was trying to chase too hard the man in front, I think, and having said that, couldn't make it. But look at this. We will perhaps never see the likes of this man in our lifetime again. We thought that was going to be the case maybe with Michael Johnson. And then this man came along. Beautiful, relaxed. Water Dix is now trying to catch this man. He just can't do it. 
after that 100 metres. What a disappointment for the crowd, but he certainly came back tonight and shown them what he can do. So, an Olympic Games and two World Championship gold medals in the 200 metres. Just missed out on the perfect record, of course, earlier on this week. But I think as a result of what we've seen here tonight, everybody will forgive him for that. Well, we've still got the relay. That's, uh, that's coming up later tomorrow. And I'm sure that uh, he'll be there on that last leg. Well, I think actually, uh, depending on the fitness of Asafa Powell, uh, they might put him on the third, uh, sorry, the second leg. And uh, I know you're shaking your heads because we're thinking Asafa Powell probably won't run. But uh, what about Johan Blake? Would they not put him on the last leg? Because remember, the one down the back straight traditionally is the uh, the longest leg slightly, and he's obviously the strongest man in the team. Well, they're one of those teams, aren't they, Jamaican? A sport for choice. Let's face it. Even without a Safa Powell, they can come in and uh, rearrange a quartet that would probably dominate. 